It's a blackout between the hedges. More than 90,000 here at Sanford Stadium in Athens, Georgia. Tonight, they'll see a late September showdown between undefeated SEC powers. The eighth-ranked Crimson Tide of Alabama against number three, the Georgia Bulldogs. Walsh to kick to Arenas and McCoy. Arenas, very dangerous. They kick it away from him, and McCoy will take it in the end zone. They've got five men flanked out for John Parker Wilson. And they complete the first throw of the game. B.J. Scott, only his second catch of the season so far. And both are living up to their clippings. Play action fake. John Parker Wilson on the roll and throws complete. He's got a first down out to the 48-yard line. And it's Julio Jones. They get the play action where you've got to respect the Alabama run. Blitz coming. John Parker Wilson on loads. Jones across the 40 and out of bounds. Jones a big target. 6'4", 210. John Parker Wilson, good protection deep down the middle. Underthrown a little bit, but interference. Yep, good Prince ball. Miller was defending Marquise Mays. And they're convinced you need two guys. Keeps them healthy throughout what has become a longer and longer season. Speaking of healthy, Geno Atkins will test the health of a running back every once in a while. On third and long, Georgia shows blitz and they come with it. Screen to Coffey. 10 7 ball came loose Georgia says they've got it no signal yet Georgia certainly had the first shot at it and they do there is a flag down though whistle foul from the passer number 51 defense got an extra offensive lineman in there for more blocking Right up the middle to the goal line. Touchdown. Mark Ingram with his fifth rushing touchdown of the season. And they are stunned it happens. Matthew Stafford, the quarterback. Impressive stats. Maybe the most impressive. 21-4 and four as a starter. Gets it out to Massaquan. Well, great block by Chris Durham out there, number 16. Stafford wants a screen. Marino. They love to throw screens, especially against an aggressive defense like Alabama's out to the 50. He is a fun, fun guy to watch play football. Especially with the other weapons on this team. Stafford pressure coming, another screen. This time, Marino has no chance, and Terrence Cody got in on the tackle. That's not good news for anybody with the ball. Javier Arenas, who has tied the great David Palmer for four puck return touchdowns in his career, as dangerous as it gets. From the 19. Got a seat! Boy, that was close. Out to the 35, a 16 yard return. Alabama's already gained 56. Georgia was only giving up 45. John Parker Wilson in trouble down the sideline, gets out of bounds. Wilson on a roll. Here comes the pressure, smart decision, throws it away. For the pass, holding number 23, defense. That's Prince Miller who committed the interference call earlier in the ball game, and he's shaking his head. He looks much more powerful than he was a year ago. Got a good block on that play, and the pass is complete. I think we got another roughing the passer, too. We just talked about penalties. Remember, they had a turnover on the previous drive, and instead of getting the ball, the penalty kept the drive alive. Down to the five-yard line as Mark Ingram checks in, and he is a great change of pace from yeah. Coffey. Ingram. Great stand by Georgia. They needed it and needed it badly. And Asher Allen up from the corner along with Jarius Lynn and Akeem Dent. And they pushed him back. Lee Tiffin. 
will try a 23-yard field goal. And hooks it through perfectly. What a great start for the Crimson Tide. They're up 10-0 at Georgia. A.J. Green has still not caught a pass. Stafford, good protection, looking, looking, looking. Throws for Green, double teamed and almost had it. Marquise Johnson actually batted the ball away before A.J. Green could snatch it out of the air. And Green got away with a push. Here's a very poor kick, and it takes a bounce back toward the 40-yard line. It is an 18-yard punt for Brian Mims, who came in averaging nearly 44 yards a kick. And he's rehabbing there. We wish him all the best and thank him for his service. And he is rooting hard for the Bulldogs tonight. Coffee. There's that run to the left side. I mean, that is, that's their bread and butter. Nice play action fake. Tremendous protection. Julio Jones inside the 10. Still on his feet. Fives. We're going to say he's out of bounds at the five. John Parker Wilson. Perfect so far. Five out of five. 78 yards on the night. Coffee. Off that left side, cuts back, dives, touchdown! They show blitz, they come with it, Stafford on the run, throws, complete to Green, but it's taken away and intercepted by Dante Hightower. Popped right out of Green's hands, and Hightower goes the other way with it. Unbelievable. And Murphy's Law is in operation tonight. If it can go wrong, it has so far for Georgia. Mike McCoy. Another first down pass for Alabama. Their plan coming in has been beautiful. John Parker Wilson to the shotgun on third and long. Looks at in the flat. Got McCoy. McCoy has a first down at the eight. And officially, that is not going to be an interception. It's going to be a fumble recovery. Jones and Stover are the widest receivers. Draw play. Up church. Walks in. Touchdown. Holy cow. Like blood in the water for sharks. Stafford straight back to throw. Good protection. He throws, and he's got his freshman wide receiver, A.J. Green. Georgia is thinking about getting on the scoreboard before the half expires. Big third down here. They converted their last third down, but had the turnover. Stafford under pressure. Couldn't find that receiver initially. Throws this one out of bounds, and the Alabama sideline wants an intentional grounding call, and they might get it. Second and four. Coffee, first down and more. This was supposed to be a blackout. It's a public mugging instead. Yep. Coffee again. This is like one of those 2 o'clock in the morning Ronco commercials. They're slicing, dicing, cutting, and chopping. But they haven't played a team that's been committed to running the way this Alabama team, or with an offensive line as good as this bunch. John Parker Wilson again on first down. Or check it, second down this time and completes it down to the 26-yard line. They only have 10 scholarship seniors. John Parker Wilson is one of them. Nobody else in big-time college football has played fewer. And this pass intended for Jones is the touchdown! Are you kidding? This is an old-fashioned country butt kick. And Tiffany will kick to Marcus Brown. He retreats to the seven. Brown has a seam to the 44. A little bit of good news, and let's check in with Reese. Scott Cochran, a very high-energy guy, was caught warming up the guys and saying that the, the blackout in Georgia, all the fans are wearing black because they're going to go to their own funeral. They're going to a funeral at Sanford Stadium, and it got on YouTube, and... Of course, it was made to be a big deal. Was it going to fire up the Georgia team? And Mark Rick kind of responded to it by wearing black to his press conference the next day. 
And I'll tell you what, this has uh, been kind of deadly for Georgia. There's no question about that. Marino is too good of a football player not to have him a part of what you do in the second half. Blitz coming. Up for grabs and intercepted. Picked off by Justin Woodall. And Woodall back to the 17-yard line. Small consolation to Matthew Stafford. Small consolation to Georgia. And remember all the hoop to do when they paid Nick Saban, what, $4 million a year to coach this team? There are people in Alabama right now that think he ought to get a raise. They've been able to kind of win in spite of them the first four games of the year, but they've hurt themselves with it tonight. Yeah, the penalties they've had in this game have been killers. Stafford, boy, what an arm he has. Completes it to Chris Durham, and here's Holly. We saw them a couple times last year. They are so different looking than they were last year. They're playing faster. They're playing with more confidence. And that idea of finishing, that's the big deal with Nick Saban. Down the middle again. This one complete to the 31. Durham again. Georgia won the toss, and it's been downhill from yeah. there. Four-man rush. Stafford, good protection this time. Floats it for the end zone, really threw it up for grabs, and it's yeah. incomplete. Double coverage intended for more. And I don't think he feels too good. I mean, he came to the sideline with wobbly, his shoulders perhaps? hunched over a little bit. I don't think he's recovered completely from that run. Well, try for a 43-yard field goal. And Georgia gets on the board with 11.07 to go in the third quarter. Roderick Battle injured his neck early in the season. He's been out, for this will be his third game out. They certainly miss those two guys' presence at a time like this against an opponent like this. And you see the Georgia players trying to get the fans psyched up. Good get them pressure. back in the game. Yep. The five wide receivers out. They want a screen. They come back to Marino. They weren't going to let the screen to develop this guy. Outstanding defense. Ali Sharif Last thing they can afford being banged around the way this game has gone is to lose no Sean Marino. Mims to kick to Arenas. And another bounce for Alabama. Coming up, the taste of the town. Got to be gravy involved, doesn't there? Or sauce. Blitz coming. And down goes John Parker Wilson. Middle linebacker Akeem Dent got him. Let's see if there's gravy in this one. No little bit about football too. Partially right. blocked. That could have been a huge play yep. going the other way. They could have gotten a touchdown out of it. And it figures the way this game has gone tonight, they block a punt, and instead of having something bounce back toward the Alabama goal line for a touchdown, it goes downfield. Zach Renner, a redshirt freshman, split in, got a piece of it. They got it now, and they have been tremendous. Stafford back to throw underneath Massaquah. See, that's what I think the throws are there for Matthew Stafford. Not the deep down the field. Third and long. Four-man rush. Pressure out of it. Massaquah inside the 40 to about the 38. And I think you're at the point where yeah. you might as well go for it, don't you? Yeah, you have to go for it right here. Green, his biggest possible target is wide left. Massaquah to the right. Blitz coming. Instead, they go over to the middle, and Moore makes the catch. Moore inside the 31st down. It's Marino out here. He wasn't sure where he was supposed to line up. That's him right there. Stanford with a pump fake. There's that body control by A.J. Green. Stop fade, and A.J. Green makes the catch. Marino is back in out of the eye. He'll get the toss. Dives to the pylon. The corner, got there. The ball hit the pylon, and it's a touchdown. Well, that's one. They need three more. And look at no Sean Marino. No quitting this kid. 105 to go third quarter. And Alabama wants 
to run the football and work on that clock. I'll tell you one thing now. One thing that was impressive to me about this Georgia fan base. 31 nothing at halftime. Nobody left this stadium. You're right. They might be a little tired, too. Yeah, could first, be. first night game, right, for yeah. August 7th? Up past his bedtime. They do not come after the kicker. And Mims was in the one out of there. And, whoa, look out. There goes Prince Miller. Are you kidding? Touchdown, 92 yards. The flag now was the no, flag. It was interference to make the catch. I mean, he was very close to getting bumped before the catch was made. I am oh, pretty oh. sure. Second and six. Can Georgia's defense rise up? Pass complete. Jones across midfield. Two tremendous freshman wideouts in this game. Upchurch is in as the running back. John Parker Wilson to Upchurch. Middle screen. Upchurch down to the 20. Upchurch is the back. Nice call. And Upchurch down to the 15-yard line. The ball came loose. I don't see anybody settles down. Nobody has. Well, now they are. It Here looked like he was down. I thought so, too. Yeah, it looked like he was down, but I didn't Whoa. see anybody. 32-yard field goal. This could be the ball game here. Lee Tiffin can make it a three-score lead. Hooked it. Is it good? Yes. Just got it in stop the post. And they have to play with a lot of urgency right now. Another blitz. They don't get there. And over the middle of Moore, he's got it up to the 47-yard line. That's enough for a first down. Justin Woodall makes the tackle. They have to pick up the tempo, and they know it. Stafford, a little pump fake, and then throws. Wow. How about that? for a catch. Well, Moore drops the easy one. Yeah. Has it bounced right off his chest. Has to go up and snatch that one. Blitz again. Stafford lost the ball. Got it back. But he's sacked at the 44 and obviously they'll have to go for it. They're going to concede a short throw. Not going to give up the deep one. They are right on the first down marker. Check it. It's fourth and 18. Stafford steps up, throws over the middle. Caught, and that should be a first down. Oh my what a throw, and what a catch by A.J. Green. Right off the grass. I wasn't sure he got enough on it, but there is a flag down in the area of holding. Now it's fourth in a $25 cab ride. Stafford's got to chuck it and hope. Our director, Scott Johnson, is thrilled that the Reds are still in Cincinnati. John Parker Wilson wants to throw up church on the screen. Oh, what a move. Up church. 20. 15. I was shocked by that. Yeah. Turned out to be a great call, though, didn't it? Well, and this is what fresh legs can do for you. You know, he has always been viewed around the rest of the conference, and I think the rest of the country. This is Coffee inside the five to the goal line touchdown. Dave Earnhardt works with me on Taste of the Town, just does a phenomenal job. And uh, he stayed around to tape the segment and then mm. flew home afterwards. And, uh, great job. Samuel on the return for Georgia and breaks away and taken down to 38. Let's check in with Reese. Well, they've, uh, again, it, it's happened fast. I mean, the biggest thing that he felt they needed to do was to teach their kids how to finish and, and, and start by teaching them how to practice and finish each play and each practice and each day. Because last year they didn't. Right. They got off to such a great start. That ball's nearly intercepted. That Baton Rouge will be huge. Nick Saban returns to Baton Rouge for the first time. Stafford under pressure. 
tucks it down to the 24 complete. But I'm so impressed with just their whole swagger. There's a, there's a different swagger with this Alabama team. They're off to a great start right now, and they are a very physical football team. Stafford pump fake down the middle of Moore. Touchdown. <laughs> Of course, this would make it a 16-point game if you're still thinking about miracles. I mean, this recruiting class this past year was outstanding, and he will not relent when it comes to recruiting. He will stay with his pedal to the metal in that part. Most people rated it easily the best in the nation. Loose ball. Georgia got it. Yes, they are. They're indicating yep, they, they did. did. No sign from the official yet. Yep, they, they got it. Nick Walker tried to jump up and make the catch, I think. Georgia offense back to work. Stafford trying to take off. Slips a tackle across midfield down to the 47-yard line. Yikes. They have the shining star in Southern California, and then they lost. Stafford using the middle of the field. Harris down to the 20. But to me, one of the things that sets the SEC apart from the other leagues is not just the talent of the players, but how difficult all the venues are to go and play in this league. Green, touchdown. This guy may set records we haven't even thought about yet. Number 88, the guy who bobbled the last one. Stays inbounds. And Alabama got it. He did exactly what you pointed out early in the ball game that you need to do against a Georgia defense. If you were a running team, and they were, you had to throw in downs where you weren't expected to throw. Right. You had to throw early and disappoint Ugga, and they did. It was 31 to nothing in the first half. Ugga never recovered. What a huge win for Alabama and Nick Saban. Here's Holly.